Okay, so what did you do? You computed that the next multiplier was 2, and if you do 2 times 2 subtracted off of 4, you end up with a 0. If you do 2 to minus times minus 2, that's minus 2, which then means you need to add 2 to this, so this becomes a minus 2. And then you need to do 2 times 1, which is subtract off of 1, so that makes this into a minus 1. And then 2 times 1 subtracted from three uh, from 5 leaves you with a 3. And then you take that multiplier and you store it over this 0 that you created. Okay? And then you move on to the next equation and you say, okay, if I do minus 2 times 1 and I subtract it from 2, then I put a 0 there, so your multiplier becomes minus 2. And then you do minus 2 times 2 subtracted off of 1, that leaves you with a 3. And if you do minus 2 times 0 subtracted off of 3, you're left with a 3. And now you have an upper triangular system, and then you could remember, oh wait, this really stands for 3 times chi 2 is equal to 3, so that tells you that chi 2 is equal to 1. You can plug that into the next equation, and so forth. So then we want to make sure that we uh, store this minus 2 right there. And that's really what you ended up with. On the right here, we have an algorithm typeset in this funny notation that we use called the flame notation. And by now you've seen a few algorithms like this and therefore you know how to interpret it. What does it compute? Well, it computes L and U such that A is equal to L times U. This is known as the LU factorization. And L is a unit lower triangular matrix. And U is an upper triangular matrix. Okay. Now, let's just execute the algorithm and see what happens. Now, we're going to execute it on the matrix A that's sitting right here. Well, that was sitting there originally, so let's recreate it. That matrix was 2, minus 1, 1, minus 2, 2, 1, and 4, minus 4, 1. And what does this algorithm tell us to do? Well, initially, the line is on the edge there, and then we repartition, and then this is alpha 1, 1, A2, 1, A1, 2 transpose, A2, 2. Okay? And the algorithm says, okay, take the vector A2, 1 and divide it by alpha 1, 1. If you do that, this becomes minus 1. This becomes 2. Okay? And then it says, take A21, multiply it times A12 transpose, and subtract it off of this. Now, let's take a little slide tour. If you do minus 1, 2 times minus 1, 1, then the matrix that you get, let's put it right here, is the matrix minus 1 times minus 1 is 1, minus 1 times 1 is minus 1, minus 2, 2, and that needs to be subtracted from this matrix sitting right here. So really it means this times that is subtracted from that, so you get a 1. This times that is subtracted from that, so you get a 2. This times that is subtracted from that, that gives you a minus 2, and then this times that is subtracted from that, and that gives you a um, sorry, this times that is subtracted from that, and that gives you a minus 1. Okay, we're good. Okay, and then the algorithm tells you to move forward. And to put this line right here, 
And then in the next step, this becomes your alpha 1, 1. This becomes your vector A2, 1, A1, 2, transpose A2, 2. And the array algorithm tells you to take this and divide it into that. So that, of course, just leaves you with minus 2. And then it tells you to do this times that and subtract that off of that. Now, this times that is four, minus 4. Subtracting that off of that gives you a 3. Okay. And then it tells you to move forward. And then it tells you that this is alpha 1, 1. Now you have to divide that into a 2, 1, but there's nothing there. And then you need to do a 2, 1 times a 1, 2 transpose to update a 2, 2, but there's nothing there either. So nothing happens. And then one last time, you move forward and your algorithm is done. Okay, and then what happens is that your L is sitting right here with the ones on the diagonal implicitly there. And your U is sitting right here in the upper triangular part, having overwritten matrix A. And you can check. If you take that L and you multiply it times U, you get your matrix back. Now here's the interesting thing. If you look at the matrix part of the appendix system, you've just computed exactly the same thing. And in the rest of the week we're going to make that connection and we're going to exploit that connection.